If you like your comedy short, fast, and funny, you've come to the right place. Comedy Time presents Quick Laughs, guaranteed to make you laugh in 30 seconds or less. Man, I should have taken a page out of my dad's book. He's been married for 35 years. He just shuffles around the house, just mumbling, just... <sighs> if I'd shot her on my wedding night, I'd be out of jail by now. <laughs> Oh man, you know something else I'm tired of, man. I'm tired of meeting these jealous dudes out here. You know what type of dudes that get mad because you look at their girl or you try to talk to their girl? Them dudes got it all wrong. Fellas, you don't get mad if somebody wants your girl. You get mad if nobody wants your girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to go to the club with your girl as soon as you walk in, people hide because you're like, oh my God, is that an alligator? This dude is right. alligator from the club. <laughs> Hey, you know somebody will get brave, right? I'm finna kill it and make some boots in a belt. Stay back, I got this. Uh, my, uh, my girlfriend, she has a five-year-old kid. Uh, don't like him at all because he wants to kill me, okay? Uh, he sent me a death threat. It was a construction paper with stick figures on it, right? <laughs> I'm serious. It was a small one for him, right? It was a bigger one with curly hair for his mom. And then for me, he drew a big-ass circle with an X on it, it right? <laughs> He's trying, he's trying to kill me. By the way, that's if you want to be in a telenovela, that's all you got to do. Say Maria and stare in the camera for five minutes. It's like, Maria. 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 God, that's a rap thing you're going to Oh, jeez. I wish there was a store of nothing but 21-year-olds. You know how awesome that'd be? Like, you'd walk in and just be like, she has no life experience. She has no life experience. This is awesome. Because when you're 21, you don't. You're just able to drink. It's legal, and that's all you do. You just drink, party, drink, party, drink, party. Oh, man, I'm pregnant. Oh, man. <laughs> what I love about the African-American community is they stick together. Latinos, man, we need to do that. We need to learn from, from our friends because, like, I'll give you a good example. When, when the black community decides on something, they decide on it together. Everyone. Everyone. Like, years ago, I don't know when, but... Years ago, black people decided they hated the letter R and stopped using it. Now when they dance, they dance on the flow. When you leave a room, you go through the dough. If you have no money, you say that you're po. Some of them don't pay child support. So the point. I've, I've been thinking a lot about death uh, recently. Because things are going so well. And uh, I've decided that when I die, I'd like to be cremated. Because it sounds so delicious. Doesn't it? Mmm, cremated, yummy. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Like every guy in here has had a conversation like this at a bar, like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> when I first saw you, I was just sure you were a Libra. But as soon as you opened your mouth, I realized you were a Sagittarius. And I've dated Sagittariuses before, so I already know this ain't gonna work out. Okay, well, uh, when I first saw you, I thought you were really attractive. But as soon as you opened your mouth, I realized you were a moron. <laughs> and I've dated morons before. So I agree with you, this ain't gonna work out. I will, however, have sex with you tonight if that's still an option. <laughs> My credit sucks. I get declined when I pay in cash sometimes. <laughs> my credit card company called me recently and uh, told me there's some suspicious activity on my account. Apparently somebody had made a payment. So. You know, I, I want to tell you right now, I came from a conservative Catholic church. You know, I was 12 before I dated my first priest. <laughs> I also went on two dates in one night, which is an accident. Like, I didn't mean to double book them, you know? Like, I was initially going out with one guy Friday and the other on Saturday, but then I had to reschedule them to the same night. 
because I realized that I only had one morning after pill left. As you guys know that rhinos can smell another rhino's pee and tell the age and sex and social status of that rhino and whether or not it's trying to mate with other rhinos. Yeah, rhino pee is like Facebook for rhinos. It's how they socially network. I just want to be, like, I want to be, like, that's like, I, like, I just want to be old enough to go to people's houses and, and fall asleep. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then they, and they just, they just, they just let me sleep. <laughs> they don't even, they don't even attempt to, what they're like, yo, man, should we wake this old dude up? Yo, man, let that dude sleep. Why, cause he old, man. You know that dude was in the war, war, war. Don't matter, pick one. Point is, he's still here. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to be in my life. The idea of that blows my mind, the power of suggestion that some guy like hundreds of years ago came back to the village and told his buddies that he saw a 10 foot ape man walking through the woods. Like walking really casually too, like Bigfoot is in that one picture you always see of him. He's just very matter of fact, like. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking up, right? Take a picture, bro. I don't know, maybe some of you guys have been waiting 20, 30 minutes for your, for your nachos or your chicken wings. Guess what? Guess who walks in the kitchen, makes them himself. <laughs> You see what I'm wearing? I'm like a host. I'm like the top chef. If I go in wearing this, it's, it's, I got it made. <laughs> uh, I, I can see how some people think that's stereotypical. They go, why are you saying, what are you saying, Rob? There's only Latino people in the kitchen? That's kind of stereotypical. Is that what you're telling me? And I say, pretty much, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's women that try to fool themselves. But come on, women, you know this about us. You know you can't leave us alone for more than two or three hours at a time. You know we need constant supervision. <laughs> You go to the store, you come home, he bought a Corvette on Craigslist. This is the crap we do. This is the only reason women have children, so they can call home and go, what's your father doing right now? My ex was black, I couldn't, I couldn't take it. See, not all black girls are bad, just my ex. She was, she was ghetto, like, like, she would do this thing where she would talk like this, like, and I would never really know what's going on. Like, the other day, we got into an argument. She was like, who was you, where was you at? Where was you at and who was you with? I was, I was at the mall with my boys. She, she said, you wasn't at the mall with no boys. You was at home with that Chewbacca bitch. Oh, you wasn't. Oh, you wasn't. So how come all I heard was ram, 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 ram. And like we chat online to each other and stuff. And, and the other day we were chatting and all of a sudden she, she types to me. She's like, I got a phone call. My sister was in a car accident. We had to rush her to the hospital. And so I'm freaking out, you know? I'm like, what do I do? Do I call, do I text? And all I could think of to do was to type her back the little frowny face symbol. Some of you ladies that go out to clubs, you know who you are. What mirror are you looking at? If you're a size eight, wear a size eight. Don't wear a size four. You walk into the club with long hats right here, fat over here, double breast cheat cheese back here. Walking around like a big piece of Play-Doh. Every step you take is a different shape. You drop something, leave it there. I went on a date with this alcoholic and he said he always drives drunk, but he drives a Prius. So although he is endangering lives, he's also saving the environment. It's not always black and white. <laughs> I recently visited California, which was really awesome. Visited a buddy there, he was like, hey dude, I just recently won two passes to cage swim with great white sharks. Do you wanna be my plus one? And I was like, oh my God, no. <laughs> he was like, why dude? It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm like, exactly, cause I'm going to die there. <laughs> He's like, dude, no, really, why wouldn't you want to do that? And I'm like, because great white shark's favorite prey are large male seals. And once I put a wetsuit on, I look identical to one. I'll be getting into the water, the seals will be there like, what's he doing? 
He looks just like Mark. He ate him last week. <laughs> Worst part is bringing home girls. Brought home a girl one time. We're making small talk. She asked if I was close to my parents. I was like, sure. And she asked where they lived. I was like, upstairs. <laughs> You know you have a crappy car when you congratulate it when it drives any significant distance at all? Hmm? Like, wow, you made it! All right, you cool down. Don't get cocky. You gotta get us home, all right? When I really want to be cool, I wear my hat on a tilt. <laughs> you see how laid back I look? <laughs> this is like wearing your pants low. I'm like, I don't care if my hat falls off. <laughs> because I have a yarmulke underneath. <laughs> Proud of myself, I love this time of year because four years ago I made a New Year's resolution to lose weight and I am 72 pounds lighter today because of it. <laughs> and I am still fat, Jesus Christ. How embarrassing it is to lose 72 pounds and still have man boobs? This is ridiculous. <laughs> and it's sad, man. I know what my problem is, my diet. My diet is terrible. What you, I work out a lot. I know it doesn't look like it, but I do, okay? This is the body of a man that lifts a lot of weights, then goes home, smokes a little bit of weed for his joint pain. <laughs> then wakes up 30 minutes later covered in Skittles and pork rinds. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Counterproductive, man. <laughs> Today I was on the road and I got cut off on the road by a blue Prius. A blue Prius, yeah, with a very angry driver. He slammed on the horn. I couldn't even get mad. It's like, what is this, road rage from a Smurf? Man, strippers got crazy names, but who else has crazy names? Black people got crazy names. For reals, black people will always name their kids something they wish they had. Like Alizé, <laughs> Portia, <laughs> Credit. I drive a special kind of car called a bike <laughs> from the dangerous Valley of Silicon. Grew up next to a local gang hangout, also known as Tapioca Express. <laughs> Gangsters, the kids of software engineers using weapons like Microsoft Word. They didn't have a gang color, but their gang font, Times New Roman. <laughs> when they throw up this, it doesn't mean West Side, it means check Wikipedia. You ever got to the point you're so broke, you look at your balance and you just start laughing? Like, it's just a joke. But the other day I went to the ATM, I was like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I actually turned to the guy behind me, I was like, hey man, do you want my pin number? <laughs> it does not make any difference either way. I can't even get the money out. <laughs> I have to be careful what I say. I almost died. I was in, uh, I was doing a show. I was in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, I was doing a show. It was just like this, like 500 people. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, I made fun of NASCAR, which I guess you're not supposed to do in Alabama, but they don't have a sign on the border like, hey, keep your mouth shut about NASCAR. <laughs> I'm single and I am sick of dating, or as I like to call it, awkward attempts to bond with a stranger <laughs> in the hope that he'll someday be my ride to the airport. <laughs> seen the show Girls Gone Wild? You ever, you ever notice you never see a minority on Girls Gone Wild? It's always some drunk-ass white girl, right? <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> First of all, you would never see an Asian girl on Girls Gone Wild because she would be at home studying, <laughs> locked up in her room at UCLA. <laughs> see a black or a Latina woman on Girls Gone Wild, because as soon as the camera guy asked her to flash her boobs, she would just punch him out, <laughs> throw her baby at him. <laughs> I like drinking, drinking's fun. I think you're an alcoholic when you know the holidays based on the drink you get. 
Like, you like, yeah, St. Patrick's Day, green beer. Cinco de Mayo, tequila. Valentine's Day, alone. <laughs> I have this little dog, you guys, and I love her. I love her so much, but she's real judgmental. <laughs> like, like, when I fart. You know, and not even like she thinks I'm gross. It's like she's disappointed in me. <laughs> you know, like, I'll fart and she'll sniff it and she's like, amateur! <laughs> You have thumbs, what are you doing with your time? Is that apples and peanut butter you've been eating? No bacon at all today? You know, and I have to give it to her. She's like a champion farter. I mean, she's a dog, so she can eat a poop and then fart a poop fart. Like, that's Olympic quality gas. She's this big and she can fill a room. It's like a family of rednecks lives in her hiney and they're just, just out in the yard all day like throwing mattresses on a fire. It's, Throw another tire on, it's gonna be great. I remember about a week before my little boy was born, I went to buy a baby carriage. And the really nice baby carriages were five or six hundred dollars. So that's when we decided that we're gonna have an indoor baby. <laughs> I'm not a very tall man. And being not tall, you get into weird situations. Uh, I was in a bar, and this girl comes up to me, and she's like, oh my God, you're perfect. And I'm like, go on. And she goes, you have to meet my boyfriend. I'm like, what? Go on. She says, he's really tall, and he's a fan of the movie Twins. So he's... He's kind of looking for a... Uh, uh, Danny DeVito to fit his Arnold Schwarzenegger. I said, you realize how insulting that is that you would come up to me and say that? Let's go meet this guy. So we go. The guy takes one look at me, you guys, and he goes, oh no, no babe, this guy will never work. He's way too tall. Best day of my life. I hadn't realized how much time and energy I was spending on getting drunk and then uh, recovering from the hangover. And now that I'm sober, I found that I have a lot of energy to do stuff I never did before, like crying and cussing at strangers. People like to give each other flowers as a present. You know, and it makes sense. The flower is the most beautiful plant. But I think it'd be a lot more interesting if the kind of flower you were allowed to give was related to how attractive your partner was. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to buy some roses for my girlfriend. Hold on. You got a picture? You get a cactus. <laughs> now I work in radio. We have a commercial that plays on the radio. Maybe you've heard this. The International Star Registry. Yeah. Have, have you heard of this? For $50, they'll name a star after you. You give them $50, and in exchange, they'll name a star <laughs> after you. Okay, what? Who's falling for this? <laughs> Honey, I'm calling the star registry like we talked about in the car. It's a recording. They're having a sale. For an extra 50, they'll name a cloud after us too. Cause you know that's how it worked, right? Uh, whenever new immigrants would first come to America, if the guy working at Ellis Island couldn't pronounce their last name, he'd just assign them a new one based on their occupation. So if you're a baker, baker, you're a blacksmith, Smith. If you're a prostitute, Kardashian. Just... <laughs> I'll tell you, I came here from New York. I actually flew out of Newark Airport. And when I was in New Jersey, I had a radio, heard a radio story about New Jersey. The DEA, the US Drug Enforcement Administration, announced that New Jersey's heroin is the strongest in the country. They said it was 71% pure. It's gotta be a little embarrassing, don't you think, when your heroin is cleaner than your drinking water? I am Mexican and Native American. Uh, any Mexicans here? Any? There's a couple. Yeah, no. But uh, one thing I love about being Mexican is that we're very family oriented. We take our family with us everywhere we go. Right? 
Whether we couldn't find a babysitter or whatever. They'll wait in the car then. When you get older, things, there's different things that are more important to you when you're dating, you know. You know, like I meet a woman now and, and, you know, sure, when you're young, you say, oh, she's cute, you know, or you say, oh, he's good looking or whatever, you know. And I look at a person now when I meet and I'm thinking, I wonder if they got a good pension. You know, it's... <laughs> or a woman says, and you know, the guys won't like this, the woman says, well, you know, I'm divorced. And I'm thinking, well, she's got a nice house then, you know. <laughs> I grew up more like 30, 40 miles south of Birmingham. Alabama. Well, yeah, if you don't giggle at that when you get home, look on a map. Seriously. <laughs> there was nothing there, is what I'm saying. Dude, where I grew up, if someone said they're going to their cousin's wedding, the apostrophe comes after the S. Do you get me? There is this guy that wanted to suck on my toes. He asked me, which toe should he suck first? I was like, I don't know. The one that had roast beef? <laughs> Does anybody ever hear something and your brain says, oh, I know what that is, when your brain should have been like, we should probably ask someone before we both look stupid. Does anyone? <laughs> like, did anyone else think waterboarding was like a really cool extreme sport for a while? <laughs> just me? It was just me? All right, cool. It's not my fault. It sounds like what they would call like surfing in England, like snowboarding. Like, snowboarding isn't torture with snow, you know? Like if it was, my sister would have been a great snowboarder when I was eight, because she was just right in the mouth. She was the worst. <laughs> anyway, waterboarding, not torture. I thought it was. So all of a sudden now I'm the jerk for saying we should all go down to Guantanamo Bay, because that's where all the good waterboarding is for spring break. 